Hi, welcome to clickmeproject.com. In this video, we will lead us to communication aware opportunity routing in mobile social networks. Mobile sensor networks are a kind of delay tolerant network that consists of lots of mobile nodes with social characteristics. Recently, many social aware algorithms have been proposed to address routing problems in MSNs. However, the algorithms tend to forward messages to the nodes with locally optimal social characteristics and thus cannot achieve the optimal performance. So, in this paper, we propose a distributed optical community aware opportunity routing algorithms. Our main contributions are that we propose a home aware community model. Barbie, we turn a MSN to a network that only includes community nodes. We prove that in that network of community nodes, we still can compute the minimum expected delivery delays of node through a reverse register algorithm and achieve the optimal opportunity routing performance. Since the number of communities is far less than the number of nodes in magnitude, the Computational cost and maintenance cost of contact information are greatly reduced. We demonstrate how our algorithm significantly outperforms the previous ones through the extensive simulations based on real MSN traces and synthetic MSN trace. Next, we are going to see the flow of this process. For this community creation, first we need to initialize that community head as home nodes. Here we have to declaring a home nodes or stationary nodes. Then we have to declaring that moving nodes for transmitting their messages. After initializing that home node and mobile nodes, we have to initialize that interaction table. So each interaction table will having initialized with zero. After that message generation, we can able to transmit the message through our network based on the prediction of community. Then we have to analyze this in the throw box. This throw box is the history of communications. In throw box, we have to maintaining that communication frequencies in the successful manner. After this, we have to computing the residual value for each node for each community. This residual value will increasing that visited frequency of each node. If the one message getting transferred means the frequency of the other community home node will be computed. If the frequency will be greater than that minimum node means the message getting transferred and the throw box getting updated through this successful transmission. If the frequency will be less than that minimum value means the packet getting dropped. From this one we can achieving our community aware routing protocol. Next, we are going to see the complete demo of community aware routing protocol. For this one, first I need to run the data item.java. In this page, we will recording that settings of community nodes. For this one, I have to setting the locations for this community node. Initially, I have to fixing that 5 nodes for the communication. Then next, I have to pausing the communication. Now I have to enter in that number of node I am creating as 25. This will representing the 25 mobility nodes. In case of any addition of home nodes, we can able to adding here. Then I can choosing that close option. Now it will show in that message we need to run data prediction .java. After getting this message, we move to the data prediction .java file and run data prediction.java the initial settings are processed after the completion of initial settings the network will showing like that here we have to show in that set of regions for all mobility node and their paths we setting the static roadmap for this processing then this is the main info for routing information for each message transmission 
the event log panel will showing that routing information of all packet transmission in case of any packet will be getting successfully delivered means it will be showing in the we have to setting set of simulation time for executing this job for that one i have to setting the simulation time as 3000 seconds the yellow color symbols are representing that home node green color circles are representing that packet transmitting mobility nodes now the simulation will successfully done after this communication we can getting that each home node frequencies home 1, home 2, home 3 as well as home 4 each node frequencies will be shown in the, the next time move to the next page and computing that what are the messages are created by which kind of node in which community then I have to getting that relay information about that node from which node it can be transferred. Then I have to checking that number of successful delivered messages. Here I have to getting that number of messages to successful deliveration. After this, finally I have to computing that each node frequency which it takes. So from our environment settings, we can getting that each node will be having a some set of communities. From this one, we can able to achieve our results. Thanks for watching.